Hi everyone, I'm Mark, one of the founders of Wangfuse. Today is day two of launch week two, and I'm super excited to share uh, what we've been working on. Back in launch week one, we launched Elements of Judge Evaluators and Langfuse for production traces. And a big theme of this launch week is to bring Langfuse more closely into the development loop, to really help move fast in development on data sets and on benchmarks. So today we are launching Elements of Judge Evaluators that can be applied to data set experiments locally in development. Um, I've prepared a short example, and I'll show you how this works end to end. Here we see a simple notebook on the left, on the right side, the Langfuse interface. The notebook book, uh, just loads uh, Langfuse and OpenAI. Um, then we authenticate with Langfuse and with OpenAI. Um, and uh, we here create a simple data set uh, via the Python SDK, which basically just country names uh, and their capital. So we now want to build an application, which is very complicated, um, which will need to uh, guess the um, capital based on the country name. So now I have uploaded the data set and uh, when we go to the left, we see the capital cities data set um, with uh, the items that I just uploaded. Now what's new is that we can attach an LM as a judge evaluator in Langfuse to the data set, which is then run on every experiment that we run on a data set. Let me show you how this looks like. We can go to evaluators, LM as a judge, and create a new evaluation template. Here we can edit the prompt template. I'll select correctness which is one of our predefined templates. I could edit it here if I want to change something. But this uses the query of the user, the generation, which is the output, and a ground truth um, to compare to. And as we use data sets, we have an expectation of what the capital of the country should be. So this is an um, eval with ground truth, with made, which makes a lot of sense here. Uh, at the bottom, uh, we see the score um, and reasoning where we can prompt the model, uh, like how the scale should look like and um, what we want as reasoning, because Langfuse under the hood uses tool calling to extract the elements of judge evaluations. I've already configured OpenAI, um, my OpenAI credentials um, for this project. Uh, here we could also use Anthropic, uh, Azure OpenAI, or AWS Bedrock. Let's use a cheaper model here um, and hit save. Now I've created the template, so now I can apply it to the dataset. Perfect. What we see here now is again the evaluation template, and we can now map our application and the dataset against it to uh, determine which kinds of values should be inserted where in the evaluation prompt. This means we have like full control and could build really complex evaluation logic here. The user query is the dataset item input, um, the generation is the trace output, and the ground truth is the dataset item expected output. We scroll down, we see we can, we can sample, which makes usually sense in production and development. And we can add a delay um, for this to wait until the trace actually finished. I mean, this is a very simple application. 20 seconds should be totally fine. Awesome. And we are done. When you go to the data set, we can see the items again. And now under runs, we see the newly created evaluator. Awesome. Let's run an experiment. I've created a simple application here, and I created like a custom evaluation function as well in code, because Langviews allows you to run any kinds of custom evaluation logic and just add the results back to an experiment run as well. So if you have like a specific idea of what you want to test, uh, you can do it and just upload the results. Here I'll just check for like like whether that it's an exact match with the output, um, which might be interesting. So we have a simple eval output equals to expected output. Uh, now I define an application which uses the Langfuse Observe Decorator um, for instrumentation and the OpenAI integration, uh, which captures all token counts, timings, whatever you're used to um, from Langfuse tracing in production already. So let's create this application. 
Then we can define an experiment runner. Um, abstracted this a bit so I can more easily um, do like some kind of like grid search uh, across uh, various uh, configurations where I can pass an experiment name in a system prompt and basically then Langfuse fetches the data set, um, loops over the items in the data set, and then uh, for every item runs item observe with the experiment name. Um, we get the trace ID and uh, this basically then detects when application is run with Langfuse instrumentation. So we can just run our production code here without any further um, configuration. And this will automatically be linked to the experiment run. And here uh, we can also add further um, like custom code defined evaluations. Uh, so on the top, we remember we had just the simple evaluation function. And here we see that we have the data set item input available, the item expected output available, and we get the output of our um, application, which we can then pass into our simple evaluation function, which then is reported as the exact match eval to Langfuse on the trace which belongs to this item. We have some documentation on how this works with relates uh, to the data model. So if you want to learn more, uh, really, really recommend the documentation that we updated uh, this week. So now we can create this experimentation runner. And down here we now see that I just created a couple of experiments where we try to get to the capital city, but first we will just ask for the famous city. Then we directly ask for the capital and then we uh, like reprompt and um, tell the model to only respond with the name of the capital. And then we just like make this uh, sure uh, another time that we only get the capital to get like to the exact match. We now execute it, it takes a moment, but basically this allows you to iterate on sorts of different logic in your application, whether it's like your retrieval logic, your model configuration, your prompts, um, basically anything you want to where uh, many teams use this for an integration level view on the whole application. So more like black box, trying everything. Um, but you can also apply this then as more like a unit test to the different steps of your application. When you, for example, want to only evaluate that your retrieval actually works well or some kind of summarization or tool calling step. But in this example, we'll just take it uh, black box. Uh, I mean, it's just like a single LM call, so it doesn't really matter. Awesome. So it's completed. Let's have a look at Langfuse. What we see here is that we have the four different experiment runs. Um, we see the total cost uh, as an average, the latency as an average. And we can already see that we have like an exact match success rate of famous city and directly ask of only 50% and ask specifically. And the final one is like 100%. But correctness seems to get it right more frequently where we are at like a 98% correctness already um, at directly ask and get to 100% then the final steps. So this is interesting. So we see some divergence here. What we can then do is we can compare the different runs. I mean, I'm mostly interested in these three because these two are perfect already and can use the comparison view that we launched yesterday. Perfect. What we can see here now is that, for example, um, in the first row, we have Japan and Tokyo and the results for the first one is directly asked is Tokyo, meaning exact match fails because we got a sentence, but the correctness model-based evaluation got the correctness right because it understood that Tokyo uh, was mentioned. Um, and asking specifically in Famous City both led to just the exact match to be correctly. So this uh, seems to have failed. Um, let's go to something that's interesting here. For example, we have here where jo Johannesburg is the most famous city. We can then dive in deeper um, and, for example, can have a look into why this happened. Let's have a look at the trace. This is all linked back to the documentation that you use across the different length use features. So we can see the uh, like all of the uh, positional arguments that went into the, the function of South Africa and the evaluation prompt. We have the output of Johannesburg and then the open AI call. All of these had this correct correctness eval based on the prompt that we defined off of the Langfuse template, whereby we get reasoning why Johannesburg isn't correct because the capital city, according to this comment, would be Pretoria in South Africa. So this evaluation worked. Awesome. This was a very simple example for how this works now in Langfuse. Um, I'm very excited what you all built. 
And um, please have a look at the updated documentation on evaluations across Lang Fuse as we have launched many new capabilities in evals over recent weeks. And now for Lang Fuse launch week two, finally updated uh, a lot of the documentation as well. See you tomorrow at day three of launch week two.